So I wanted to give a uh, update on the Bontech BMG on my CR10 and how it's been working out. Stick around and we'll talk about it. I'm Ron and this is my place. So you, you probably saw, or you may or may not have, I ended up getting a Bontech um, I got a Bontech extruder for the CR10 because originally the driver behind this was I was getting some uh, filament popping, meaning it was skipping quite a bit. It was almost like just wasn't gripping well. And I was also trying to use different things to see if I could get a little bit better performance out of some flex filament. Now, we know that the flex filaments print better on direct drive versus a Bowden system, which I've covered before. There's other videos. Um, but I was just really trying to see if I could get the Bowden system to work, and that's why I went with the uh, Capricorn tube, and now I've done the, uh, the Bond Tech. Uh, so here's my basic thoughts. A Bond Tech BMG, it works great. It's doing exactly what it's designed to do. It seems to be gripping just wonderfully. Um, I really have had no issues whatsoever once I got everything set up with it. The big problem is that it's a bit annoying to run on a Bowden setup. Um, and it's common sense. It's the way the, the thing works is you got two gears and there's the the release on it is just a little little lever um, that ha it doesn't move a, a long ways but the big problem is that it's the filament is still sticking up against the one gear because you know it's going through a gear like this and there's two of them pushing in well you're moving the one away but the filament is still up against the other gear and as we're all probably pretty aware you're putting marks in the filament as you're putting it in so it's like a file type thing so it, it makes it hard to, to pull it so you can't just push it in by releasing a spring and then um, getting it to flow and then, and then you're good to go you actually have to drive it all the way in and on a CR10 the Bowden tube is quite long um, so it's a little bit annoying um, not the end of the world it works it's working absolutely fine uh, I do believe what I'm gonna do kind of torn right now but I, I think I'm gonna go and convert it over at some point like I've talked before into a direct drive system uh, I don't know yet I do have a setup to do the Flexion um, so I may just move straight to the Flexion I mean it's literally designed for flexible filament um, so I don't know that it's worth continuing messing with the uh, the bond tech like I said, works great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It has great grip. It's just not really good for a Bowden. So if you have a Bowden system and you're looking for a Bond Tech, not really going to do a whole lot for you. I mean, it's just not its, it's optimal conditions. Um, if you have a direct drive system and you want to go to Bond Tech, I think you'll be super excited and super happy. Um, so yeah, I don't know really, uh, I'm sitting here looking at it right now trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to say. Uh, the install was super easy. Um, there is, I think I said it in another video, um, if you buy one and you really want to do it and don't listen to me, there's actually a, a da an adapter that you can get because this specific, the Bontech BMG is really designed for an E3 V6 hot end. And it's designed to sit upright and then the hot end clips in and goes down of course well when you put it as a uh, Bowden system you're feet you're doing it backwards actually and you're feeding it in where the where it, where that is and then you're outputting um, on the other end uh, which was fine I just went into my software on the firmware and swapped it around uh, but you can get this which I haven't installed yet to make it easier to feed the filament. So it's really a replacement, is all it is. And it's designed for Bowden systems. And you can get that, which is the fancy one, or you can actually print one, which I did that as well. So, 
Anywho, that's about all I have on it. Um, so my final thoughts are it works fabulously. It's an awesome extruder system. Just not really going to help you all that much for a Bowden setup. Uh, it's, uh, don't waste your money, honestly. Uh, any of the other ones will work just as well. Uh, if you switch over to direct drive, I think you'll be a lot happier with it. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it gives a little good info to anybody. Again, this was the Bontech BMG on a CR10. And uh, there you go. Thank you much. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like it if you like the video, if it helps you at all. Dislike. Let me know if, if you don't like something. Down below, of course. And uh, hit the bell if you want to know when really uh, awesome videos like this pop up. Thank you much. Have a great day and print everything you can.